What was the best thing or which you like concluded that this worked for me, like for cracking this room? Like, I, I got what you're saying. It's actually mentioned in this book that the guy fails in his examinations again and again. But ultimately, what worked for him, and that is what he finds out after his set, second attempt at scar written test, and why he attempted scar second time, that's a mystery you'll find in this book. But after his second attempt at scar written test, he found out that what worked for him this time, I need to know exactly what, because I'm going to apply it in my next attempt at ISRO. And what he concluded is that at this time, I was not having a backup and I completely reached a fuck it situation that I'm going to go head first towards it and I'm going to risk everything for that. And uh, I think that is something that is uh, pulling a lot of people behind. And in this book, there's a line that is written that most people don't do what they want to do. Some who do, do it with uh, one hand tied behind with the safety and one leg touching the exit. And that's not how you are going to use your full potential. If you're going to use your full potential, that is going to be if you completely are ready to walk away. There's a general skill in negotiation as well. You're only going to win a negotiation if you are ready to walk away. You cannot fake it. If you're like, oh, I need this deal, I really do, and I cannot walk away, the one who can walk away is going to win the negotiation, no matter how much you're going to fake it. In a similar manner, in life also, if you're not ready to walk away, if you're not ever ready to not have, like I was ready to lose my job at Department of Atomic Energy, even if I'm not sure about getting Indian Space Research Organization. I was ready to be a delivery guy, somewhere in some small city. I was ready to be a barista. I was ready to do all the jobs that you might not expect from an ex-scientific officer at Department of Atomic Energy. I was ready to do it all. And, uh, and that's when I finally used my full potential. So it's a very mindset and mental aspect. And that's why the Ashwin Tux is having a journey of becoming an ISRO scientist. But he's now having a journey that almost every one of you are going to pursue to some extent or the other, that is to pursue a dream career, to pursue a good life for yourself. And those are the things that helped me finally achieve what I wanted to. But uh, you started this uh, seminar, but at that time, uh, do you have an idea of starting with this kind No, that's also a very good point, and that's what is uh, written in the 11th chapter. And uh, at, at 11th chapter, he's having thoughts like, what do I need to do? Like, obviously, I'm in the last position and uh, I need to leave this job so I'm not going to have the employment. How do I sustain my life without having the employment? And if you read it, you are going to see that his family is not helping him. He does not have the friends he, he can be helped with and there's basically nobody in his life. So he takes the charge and he find, tries to look for what can I do. So just like my story goes, if you do not know, the character's name was Ashish Ranjan until two months ago. We decided to change it because we have bigger goals for this book. Uh, but just like me, uh, his story also goes like he starts a YouTube channel uh, somewhere around uh, March 2018. And he has a YouTube channel. So he thinks like, okay, how can I make an earning? And he finds out like straight up the earning from YouTube is dog shit. You are not going to earn anything. And that's the reality that I was not earning anything or my channel was not in the stage of earning anything until I was like halfway out of ISRO. So it takes a lot of time for you to make an earning. But the thing is that he thought about that. He never thought about it before that. He never thought about it before he was at the rock bottom. And that's why one of the chapters is named rock bottom. And right after that, the next chapter is the man is at the best. And uh, when, and it is dot, 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 but some of you guys who knows my philosophies knows what it ends with. So. That's when he starts to question. The beginning of the man is at his best when starts with, like, why did I think about all of these things now? Why do I now think about uh, getting a private sector job, even getting a managerial based job, even thinking about I can sustain myself being a delivery guy? Why am I now thinking that I can even start a podcast? Why am I now thinking that I can start a personality development course? Why did I not think about all of these things when I had the safety and comfort of time and money? Why did I not think about all of these things? And the thing is that uh, you are forced to think right now. You're forced to be in rock bottom. And it's also mentioned that some people think that being in rock bottom 
forces you to think different. Yes? You might be thinking that, oh, being in those bad situations when I'm cornered, I'm forced to find a way out. I'm forced to think about finding a way out. And that changes life. That's what's written in this book. That That's what I thought for five years. And this is the realization I had just last year. That your thoughts don't change your life. In rock bottom, you're not only thinking differently, but you are acting on what you're thinking. And that changes life, not the thoughts. Because you might be having so many ideas when you're having beer with your friend, you're having a good time. Oh, I can start a company like this. You can be a co-founder. You can be a technical lead. You can do this. And there are so many ideas all the time. The only reason why those ideas never came into actuality is because you never acted on it. And that's what you necessarily do at the rock bottom. You don't have any option or you don't give yourself any option. Like even in rock bottom, I had an option, right? I'm going to get the worst posting of Department of Atomic Energy, but I'm still having a job. I'm having a career as a, a scientific officer. That's all well and good. On paper, I'm still a central government employee. On paper, I'm still a gazetted officer. All are good, but I did not give myself that option. That is where the ego again kicks in. That I'm good enough for something more. I'm not going to settle down. And that's why the boy did not sign.